One of my favourite culinary delights is the humble olive. Now, not only are these trees fantastic to grow in Australian gardens, they produce the most beautiful fruit and, of course, an oil that's really, really healthy for you. One of the most respected specialists in the olive oil industry in Australia is Dr Stan Kalis. Stan, how are you going, mate? Thanks very Great. much for joining us today. Now, you're picking some, what are these? These look like uh, oil well, they, olives, these don't are, they? These are Tuscan olives. OK. Yeah, Frantoyo. High in, in, high in oil. oil. Yeah, look, if we uh, just uh, squeeze them, we can get the oil oh, out. Oh, yeah, look yeah. at that. Look, look at that beautiful olive oil. Now, Stan, there's two types of olives, as I understand, primarily a, an oil type and a, a table? Yeah, yeah, that's it in, in principle. But all olives have got olive oil in them. OK. Yep. These particular ones, they will produce a nice green, fruity, bitter oil. What about table olives? Uh, well, table olives, again, certain varieties. Kalamata, for instance, are a very popular olive. I think over here we have a Kalamata olive tree. Well, look, uh, this is one of my favourite olives. Uh -huh. This is a Kalamata olive. Uh, nice flesh, beautiful taste and uh, easy to pickle. Yeah. Uh, the How way to pickle it? them is you need a little container, a barrel like this, and we need to fill the barrel up with olives. Right. So we wash the olives, we tip the water out, then we put it into 10% brine. Okay. Now you make 10% brine by taking a kilo of salt yep. and putting into 10 litres of water. You have to fill the barrel to the top, uh, you seal it with the lid and uh, give it a bit of a shake, leave it for a month and come back. And so they're basically ready to eat after about ready a month to or eat. so. Now, wow. most Greek people like to eat them like this. Mm -hmm. But Plain other fiber. people like to spice their olives up. And the way you do that is you take some olives like these, add some olive oil, extra virgin, mm -hmm. and uh, you can add chilli. A little bit of chilli over the top? Over the top. Well, that's going to add some And uh, leave it for about an hour, and then they're nice to eat. Now... Olive oil. Yep. How do we go about getting this? Well, we've got to pick a few more olives, don't we? Oh, well, better get going. Hand picking olives, well, it's pretty labour intensive, but before long, there are enough olives to fill a couple of crates. So it's on to Jamunga olives to press these little beauties. Well, Stan, this cold press technology is quite amazing. Tell us what's happening here. Well, first of all, we have to wash the olives, mm -hmm. so they're placed in with this hopper. Uh, you notice these leaves, they have to be removed, and there's a blower that does that. Okay. They go up to this race, down into the crusher, and they've gone down into this compartment, which is a malaxa, which actually mixes the, uh, the paste, so okay. it separates the oil. Now, once it's mixed, it then goes into the centrifuge, and uh, we, we separate the oil out. And there it is. The rapid spinning action of the centrifuge has caused the mixture to separate. And what's left looks like liquid gold. Pure, undiluted olive oil that's ready to consume. Look at that green colour. Yeah. It's cloudy. Uh, that's how it comes out of the olive. Okay. But when we filter this, it's extra virgin olive oil. The Tuscans, yeah. this is how they like it. Mmm. Can you taste that grassiness? It has. It's got a bit of a grassy sort of taste for it. Just think it's doing you all the world of good.